the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said that uh, whosoever saw a snake and did not kill it due to fear of retaliation or revenge, he is not from us or he is not one of us. Meaning, um, the reason why this was mentioned was the superstition element because people in the past and some people even today they believed that if you killed a snake then the killer of that snake uh, as strange as it sounds I'll try to keep a straight face while I say while I uh, tell you this they believed that as the snake would die the image of its killer would be almost printed imprinted uh, into a, into its eyes so it would actually take the image of its killer and then when uh, the related snake or a snake related to it would see it they would find out who had killed the snake and they would take revenge so the people uh, would avoid killing a snake even in danger, in dangerous situations because our Sharia has allowed us to do this. Our Sharia has allowed us to kill animals or to strike animals that are dangerous or harmful and one of them is the snake. In fact in our Sharia if a dog is attacking or even if a cat becomes un uncontrollable and, and attacks you are allowed to strike and this strike is to defend yourself so that uh, harm does not come to you in fact even pests mice and mosquitoes and flies and things like that in the Sharia it is permissible to kill them to be rid of uh, the harm or the inconvenience that they may create because uh, some of these things they can bring germs with them they, they can make the home uh, unhygienic and uh, this is just a natural way of things so the Sharia has allowed us to uh, get rid of pests and the snake mentioned in this hadith because people should not be superstitious this is another example of how our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam reminded us that these uh, believing in things like that which uh, have no uh, scientific evidence even today this hadith is a reminder that we should not believe in superstitious things so there is no such thing as a snake um, being killed and then another snake seeking revenge for it the reason why the scholars say um, that the snake was uh, put into uh, after it was struck with a heavy object it was thrown into a fire or burnt was because it would lose um, it would apparently become still but it still wouldn't be dead and obviously it's still dangerous if it's still if it's alive so just to make sure while it's kind of paralyzed they would uh, the people in the past would throw it into the fire and that would be a confirmation that it's definitely it won't be able to harm anyone now it's so right that until the snake does not go upside down it is still uh, alive so these were uh, this was another element to share with you that uh, superstition is something which should not affect believers Channel